Hi everybody, let us discuss today as to how one can evolve the feature of archiving mails in Postmaster. Mail archive in Postmaster is a feature which archives a copy of all your incoming, outgoing and local mails in a separate area. It could be the local drive or a map drive. Archiving in Postmaster can be done in various ways that is either file based archiving or email based archiving or flexi based archiving. So to start with first you have to log in into Postmaster as an admin. Once you are logged in go to PME mail archiving under archiving you have all the options so let's first start with global archive. Under archive mode select whether you want to set your archiving mode for all users or per user archive for all next under account based archiving enable subject archive enable that is only if you want to archive mails depending on subject of the mail next under subject archive text insert the uh, subject text as archive which will get inserted in your archived mails next enable internal archive if you want to enable the internal archiving of your mails from drop down you select the user and click on add so a uh, one copy of all your internal mails will get sent to this user then enable the incoming archive if you want to send one copy of your incoming mails to the user done next we have enable outgoing archive you enable this option and select outgoing archive user list from here so one copy of all your outgoing mails will go to this user once you are done setting all these settings in your archive click on confirm so settings have been set successfully so this has been done for all users what you have to do it for per user so to set per user first you have to go to postmaster manage accounts users user manager so from here you select for which user you want to set archiving say i have selected this user and click on edit now i will go to pme mail and select the option group once I have selected it, I will select the option archive mails. So this would enable my archiving for this user. Once it is done, now I will go to my archiving page. From the drop down, I will select archive per user and do all the settings as being shown in for archive for all. Once you have done these settings, click on confirm and it will be saved for user. Hope this is clear for your global archive. Next you have file based archive. On the file based archive, you select the options internal mails, incoming mails and for outgoing mails as per your choice. And to have a specific path where you want to save your archiving mails for your internal, incoming and outgoing, you enable this option and provide the path. So this is my separate path where my archived mails that is internal mails incoming outgoing archive mails will get saved. So click on confirm. So you are done with file based archive. Next you have flexi archive. Under flexi archive I will tell you that this is a very important feature in postmaster enterprise. You can set up special archives for storing messages sent from say specific user accounts and uh, or which is being received by specific user accounts. So, so to enable this you have to enable the option flexi archive and click on confirm. Next you click on the option add new. You fill up these fields to create your flexi based archive. Flexi archive status enabled, then you have enable internal archive. If you want to set internal archive, enable the incoming archive and outgoing archive. These three settings can be done as per your choice. Next, for which accounts you want to archive, you select the users from here. You can select multiple users under flexi archive now 
from the archive to accounts to which accounts you want this users mails to archive you can select the users from here and add them once it is done click on confirm all right let's see whether we have successfully created it or not there it is click on confirm to save your settings now once these three things are done we will go to switch to user view Alright, now we will hover our mouse to administrator and from here we will select the option archive. So, as you can see under current settings, we have enabled all this option and this was the part that was being stated. Now, we will go to retrieve that is how to retrieve your mails from your archive. By default, this, this would be the path that would be mentioned. It all depends with your postmaster drive that you have uh, installed now you click on add more to add a different path to store your archive mails apart from the one that you have specified so you specify the path over here and under here you mention the from date and to date and click on confirm and save your settings next you have search archive mails under the date range you specify the date from which date to which date you want to archive your mail so let's select say 1st of June 2 July under condition you select and or or as per your choice so I'll be searching from if you click on here you will see all these options from to CC subject so you choose the option accordingly so I'll choose from which contains say QLC admin right you can set all these conditions here do remember that at a time you can only archive mails for three months now let's click on confirm and check so within that period there is only one mail now you select all this page that is you select all the mails which are there on this page as well as select all this retrieve if you want to and then if you select send new then all these mails will be resend again and if you resend it then all these mails which are here will get resend to the user let's select send new so over here you put the email address to whom you want to send the selected mails you click on confirm and the mails will go so hope this is clear to you how to retrieve mails in postmaster then we'll go to recreate and the recreate that is if you want to recreate the mails of a particular user you cannot use this option recreate similarly you select the path from where you want to recreate mails for the user then provide the date range so let's select from July to September and put the user login just put the username let's select admin search for either received mails you want to search for this user or sent mails or both let's select both in the search method which you want to do that is either you want to use through logging or logging plus headers once you have selected these options click on confirm okay so these were the mails which were sent during this period so you select all this page to select the mails which are there on this page or other pages where you have the mails and then if you want to select the users you select all this user you click on recreate and all the mails will be recreated and sent to the users inbox
hope this is clear next we'll go to indexes that is if you want to index your mails with the specified date that you would be providing you can do it from here and click on show indexes next under preferences you can set your preferences as per your choice that is whether you want to have a page size 10 or more than 10 the default size is 10 to 50 next maximum day range 90 days as i have mentioned auto indexing for last 10 days you specify the date as per your choice auto archive mails if you want to enable the auto archive mails after how many days you can set it from here and the sent mails re create location you can select whether inbox or sent items and click on confirm so we now know how to use all these archiving methods in postmaster hope every feature related to archiving method of postmaster is clear any concern or doubt regarding the same is welcome for which you can write to us at support at qlc.in thank you